Hi, it's Alyssa of Alyssa Huber Films, aka Life of an Aspie, whatever I changed the name to. Anyway, um, I just wanted to give you kind of a life update because I've been kind of, I guess, on and off for a while. Like, I haven't. I've been kind of slow replying to messages and posting videos and all that stuff, but honestly for me that's kind of normal because I go through different levels of, you know, I guess normalness. So sometimes I'm like not functioning as well and I just like, I'm too stressed to answer stuff. So anyway, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I need to not be so self-conscious in front of the camera. That's why I didn't bother with my hair or anything today. I just want to be myself because otherwise I won't post as much so yeah you'll just have to deal with me being all over the place this whole fall and half of winter I was pretty much kind of dead because I was in school and um, I'm in my it was actually my first semester of my senior year so I was almost done and then I decided to take a semester off because I'm like okay I'm way too stressed like I cannot function. I have way too many things that I really, really, really need to finish that I haven't finished and I'm kind of a slight perfectionist, I guess. So um, I, I need to be able to finish all the things I had set aside in order to do school because it's been years and I want to do all that stuff, like starting up a YouTube channel, for instance. I've been wanting to upload more, but I haven't. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's my biggest reason for not being 100% present on the internet is school and I found that and I think this is a case for a lot of people in college because um, well I hear this from a lot of other people I hear this like I'm, a, I'm an impulsive Googler so I've like Googled this like crazy and it's everywhere people who go to college are chronically depressed and anxious or at least a lot of them are um, I forgot what percentage but it's like a pretty big chunk um, and it's just like so much to handle in such like a short amount of time and as somebody with Asperger's I'm way more prone to anxiety and depression than the average person so that's been one of my major struggles recently I've, I'm getting over it now because I'm, I'm uploading videos now so I'm actually okay <laughs> um, but uh, I guess just all that time of going at like a hundred miles an hour after a while I just hit a wall and I'm like you know I need to take a break um, and you know a three week winter break is not long enough so um, after figuring out all of that complicated stuff I was able to uh, finally take a semester off so yay but I mean it's been hard because a lot of my friends have been graduating and I don't really I don't know, I take so long just to develop friendships that if they like leave all of a sudden, it's like, well now what? I don't want to make more friends because I just made friends with these other people who just graduated. Also I'm a very ambitious person, usually I'm leading some kind of group or some kind of uh, big project or I actually had a support group at my college for people like me, whether they have Asperger's or um, some other, I guess, abnormality or, or I don't, that doesn't sound right. Um, just to, if they're different, they're basically in the group. Um, it was a very small group, but I, I wasn't able to lead it this past semester because there was only one other person that I knew who still was interested and nobody else was and I need to have at least three people, including me. Um, so I'm like, well, I'll just wait till next semester. So I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't do that because that really helps me a lot. Poof, I'm in another room. Okay, actually I just wanted to say I've been making some positive changes to kind of help me get out of the sort of leftover depression from school. And part of that has included uh, me establishing my own territory. So as you can see, um, here's the kitchen and um, a lot of Aspies, uh, including me, I need like my own space because I freak out if I have to deal with other people's mess. So um, this is my counter in the kitchen and my dad installed a light here for me which is really nice. Uh, basically anything on this counter is mine. Nobody else puts anything on here and if they do I have to tell them please don't put anything here. It's for my sanity. Um, so that way 
like, you know, somebody won't, for instance, like, set down a pen, and then I'll, like, come downstairs and be like, this isn't mine! Put this where it goes! Because, like, there are so many little things like that. So many. Um, in living with a family that, um, after a while, that builds up and it causes more stress. So, this completely eliminates that, along with some other areas that I have in the house, like a break area. This is kind of my break area, especially this nice little couch here. Um, this is where I sit and take my breaks from my work. Um, but it's nice to have this, so I have a little, I guess, enclosed area. Um, also, I moved my room up upstairs. I get more sunlight up here. I used to be downstairs in the basement and I was not getting enough sunlight, which didn't help my depression at all. So it actually really helps being up here too. Some other positive changes that I've been making other than establishing safe zones around the house. I've been getting counseling twice a month, which helps because I talk a lot and I need to kind of talk to somebody unfiltered. Um, I also changed my diet. I don't have gluten or dairy because I have some intolerances and I don't eat sugar, which has really helped me not have any mood problems or uh, energy problems. I would actually recommend that most people avoid sugar for that reason because it's, it's awful. It's so awful. <laughs> anyway, I also have been getting more clothes that are comfortable on me and look good, which is really nice for me because I've kind of... I, I find myself more comfortable in like really old like raggedy clothing and I by wearing that and then like let's say people come over I'm feeling really self-conscious because I'm wearing rags just because they're comfortable um, so I've been getting some new stuff I actually got something here like I was wearing this in another video I found these scarves I normally can't stand scarves but this one's really lightweight really soft and it's one of those infinity scarves and stuff, and so I don't have to bother to tie it. But, you know, I've been finding clothes that are easy to wear and look nice, and that kind of helps me feel a little bit better about myself, too. So, that's nice. <laughs> so, enough about me. Um, I wanted to tell you about my next video, uh, what I'll be talking about. Well, it still is about me if it's my videos. But anyway, um, my topic that I was thinking of discussing was basically masks of normality or how I've developed a sort of uh, neurotypical or normal persona in order to blend in with society and it's not just something that Aspies deal with but it's like everybody has to do it everybody has to act appropriately depending on the situation otherwise people will think you're a total weirdo <laughs> like you know you can't wear your PJs to work you know things like that but um, I'll be talking more about that in the next video. So until then, I will see you later. Bye!